In the future, alarms go off in the Axomico nuclear plant when one of the reactors suddenly catches on radioactive fire. Soon guards and drones are sent to take care of the situation while employees run around in panic. Two engineers want to prevent the reactor from exploding, but they don't know if pressing the yellow or the blue button, and the instructions are in Cantonese. To make matters worse, the door is stuck and they can't escape. At that moment a mysterious fox appears outside the door and tries to communicate with the engineers, asking them not to press the blue button because he comes from the future and knows the consequences. The engineers don't know if they should believe him, so Fox disappears and comes back with a translator, only to have chosen the wrong language. It takes Fox to go back and forth a couple of times until the engineers finally believe him and get ready to press the yellow button, however the time patrol appears in the corridor as well. Fox immediately disappears and the patrol tells the engineers that the guy was a terrorist, so they must press the blue button. After the patrol disappears, the engineers press the blue button and things seem to calm down, but soon the entire nuclear plant explodes. In the present, Deputy Gilbert announces during a press conference that he'll be signing a deal with a Chinese corporation called Axomico to build an atomic plant. Eco-activist Alice interrupts him to point out that the company is using outdated technologies, which could cause serious trouble in the future. Gilbert ignores her worries and calls the guards, who immediately arrest Alice and her activist friends. After the conference, Alice is bailed out by her dad, who turns out to be Gilbert. Later Alice's friends call her to confront her about Gilbert because she never told them he was her father. She needs to prove she's a true rebel and not a spy, so they ask her to break into Gilbert's computer and find evidence of his illicit connections with Axomico. In the evening, Gilbert watches old videos of his wife, who died while giving birth to Alice. After he goes to bed, Alice tries to access his computer, only to find Fox trying to steal it. Fox tries to explain himself, but a panicking Alice hits him with a bottle, which wakes up Gilbert. He comes downstairs and immediately threatens to call the police. At that moment the time patrol appears in the yard with a flash and tries to shoot Fox, who is pushed down by Alice and the bullet hurts Gilbert's leg instead. Then the patrol quickly comes inside, so Fox grabs Alice and Gilbert before activating his bracelet, making them disappear from the house. They reappear in a mysterious corridor and Alice kicks away a guy to escape, running until she reaches the edge of an abyss and discovers the city in ruins. The shock makes her pass out and a hand pulls her back before she falls. Some time later Alice wakes up in a junky room and through a tiny hole in the wall she can see Gilbert in the room next to hers. At that moment a guy named Raf comes in and shares the little food he has while explaining he was brought here from another timeline. Afterward Raf takes Alice and Gibbler to the lab, where Fox is waiting. Gilbert doesn't want to hear them out and rushes to the door to escape, only to find his way blocked by a bunch of disgusting zombies. A terrified Gilbert closes the door while scientist Henry joins them. He explains those were regular zombies and there are some more dangerous ones capable of running. It turns out Alice and Gilbert were brought to a post-apocalyptic future, where zombies have appeared after the Axomico nuclear plant exploded. Henry even shows them a video to prove it, but Gilbert thinks it's all a trick to make him cancel the deal. Then the guys open the door again and quickly shoot down all the zombies before announcing they're going out. Alice and Gilbert are pushed into an armored car and taken for a ride around the city, which turns out to be a destroyed Paris with no people around, only zombies. After watching the devastation for a while, the guys stop the car and show them a massive radioactive cloud. They explain that this thing orbits the Earth every 70 years and kills anything it can reach. It also grows larger every year, so next time nobody will survive its visit. Gilbert finally admits his mistake and Fox gets ready to shoot him, but Alice stops him and begs for other options. The other way to change things would be stealing the laptop and causing a political scandal, but this would be noticed by the Time Patrol, who are against changes in history because they fear the consequences and would immediately stop them. Suddenly Gilbert loses consciousness and while everyone is confused, Raf offers a new idea, Gilbert should naturally choose not to sign by his own will, that way the Time Patrol won't notice. Alice agrees and explains Gilbert wasn't always this cynical, he just changed after her mother's death, so he has the potential to change again. Fox agrees to try but with one rule, if at any moment they are in danger of getting caught by the patrol, he'll shoot Gilbert to save them. Afterward Henry decides to go back to the lab while the others visit the local pub. Alice asks for water and everyone laughs at her because clean water is not available anymore. After meeting the locals, Alice tries to talk to Gilbert and make him change his mind about the nuclear plant deal, but he's still hesitating. An argument ensues and Alice announces loudly that Gilbert must be blamed for this horrible future, so Gilbert distracts the crowd by offering to pay for everyone's drinks and escapes with Alice. Fox and Raf try to follow them, but they're blocked by the crazy drinkers. As Alice and Gilbert walk on the empty streets, they're soon found by a horde of zombies, so they immediately run away only to get stuck in an alley. At that moment Fox and Raf catch up to and shoot a couple of zombies to open their way, only to get stuck in the alley too. They don't have enough bullets so Fox tries to use his bracelet, but it's run out of battery. When the zombies are about to reach them, suddenly a bunch of them are killed by spears. These were thrown by a gang of warrior children, who taunt the zombies into following them so Alice's group can escape the alley. Meanwhile the time patrol searches the slums and shoots a guy to make him share the location of Henry's lab. 
When they get closer to the lab door, Henry detects them on his security system, so he gathers his things and activates the self-destruction. He runs out of the lab right before a huge explosion brings it all down, although the flames still go far enough to reach him. The Time Patrol suffers no damage thanks to their armor and when they search the ruins of the lab, they find a mysterious map. Back to Alice's group, they're taken to the settlement known as the Hideout, where the kids survive together. While they share a meal, Henry suddenly appears on the table, having teleported to escape the flames but still having gotten some burns in the process. He tries warning everyone that the enemy is coming but it's too late, the Time Patrol is now entering the hideout. The children immediately get in position behind the tables and start throwing stones at them, so an officer responds with a grenade. Wanting to protect the kids, Henry jumps on the grenade, which explodes and scatters all his body parts, revealing that he's a robot. A furious fox blames Gilbert for this loss and gets ready to shoot him, but Alice and the hideout leader remind him there are better ways. This allows for the patrol to tase Fox and arrest him. Then Raph tries to fight them, but he's overpowered as well. The locals decide to surrender and come out with their hands up, which shocks Officer Louise because children shouldn't be involved in wars. She promises she won't hurt anyone because they only deal with time crimes, then her patrol takes away Raph, Fox, Alice, and Gilbert. In the Time Patrol headquarters, Chief Constance thanks Alice for helping them catch the rebels. Alice insists that Fox has been doing the right thing, so to change her mind, Constance leaves the room and sends an older Alice to do the talking. Older Alice says changing history isn't a good idea and swears she lived a wonderful life, which was only possible thanks to Gilbert's business deals. She also reveals that Gilbert will get sick soon because he's been drinking heavily since his wife's death, so she advises her younger self to spend as much time with him as possible. Afterward Alice and Gilbert are sent back to the present. Meanwhile Fox and Raph are taken to see Constance, who accuses them of ruining many lives. Fox points out that he actually saved tons of people, but the patrol can't remember it because time resets every time he makes a change. The only ones who can remember alternative realities are the ones who made the change in the first place. All the officers are confused and a furious Constance orders both criminals to be placed in the hole, a prison without time. In the present, Gilbert gets in the car to attend the meeting that will finally seal the deal, and his driver starts making questions about Alice, complimenting how bright she is. Feeling guilty, Gilbert asks him to take him back to his house. Once he reunites with Alice, Gilbert tells her he just wants to spend the day with her. In the future, the patrol receives a signal about critical changes in time, so Fox points out that they are internal changes in Gilbert, meaning the patrol can't interfere. Constance decides to break the rules and tells the officers to force Gilbert to sign the contract, telling them to kill Alice if necessary. Louise is against such a brutal plan, but Constance just sends Mateo and Victor instead before telling Louise to take the prisoners to the hole with supervision from her assistant. Outside the city, the radioactive cloud is getting closer and already killing a few zombies and later the pub owner. In the hideout, it's revealed Henry is still alive and he's putting his pieces together hoping to help. However his bracelet isn't working and there isn't enough time to build a new time machine, so everyone sits to wait for the end. In the present, Victor and Mateo break into Gilbert's house and threaten to kill Alice, causing Gilbert to agree to sign the papers. Victor stays with Alice to keep her hostage while Mateo gets with Gilbert in the car. Back to Louise, her group makes it to the hole, and she tricks Constance's assistant into getting close enough for her to push him. Then she releases Raph and Fox and hopes they succeed in making a better future. After giving the guys new charged bracelets, Louise goes to see Constance to tell her she finished her mission, but Constance is suspicious and asks about her assistant. They're suddenly interrupted by a report of the prisoner's escape so Louise tries to shoot, but Constance quickly hides under her desk and dims the lights before attacking Louise. A fight ensues with women showing amazing skills, but after lots of struggling and missed shots, Constance takes Louise's gun and sends her away with a shot. Meanwhile Fox appears on top of Gilbert's car, startling the driver into stopping the car and falling off. When Matteo steps out to check on him, Fox quickly grabs him by the leg and teleports him to the middle of a battle during World War I. As he gets surrounded by bullets and small explosions, Matteo begins chasing after Fox, who tries to escape but his bracelet gets damaged by a running soldier. The men end up in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, with Matteo using his experience while Fox plays dirty. Both of them refuse to give up but have no choice when the area is suddenly bombarded by airstrikes. At the same time, Raph appears in front of Alice and Victor, who immediately hits Raph to knock him down. When Victor tries to shoot him, Raph begins teleporting all over the room to dodge the bullets and eventually falls into the pool. When he comes out, he teleports behind Victor and grabs him so they start fighting as they teleport together all over the room again. Alice grabs a bottle and concentrates to strike at the right moment, knocking Victor out. Then Alice calls her dad, only for Constance to appear and steal his phone, informing Alice that Matteo has arrested Fox and she has him now. Then Constance takes Gilbert to the meeting, forcing him to sign. Gilbert grabs a pen and gets ready to do it, but suddenly reality starts shifting around him. It turns out that Raph and Alice traveled back to the moment of her birth and she uses Victor's gun to threaten the doctor, who happens to be Henry. 
she forces him to save the mother instead of the baby, and in the present Fox realizes Alice is erasing herself from the timeline. Reality continues to change around them and fix all the time anomalies, which is seen by Louise in the headquarters. During childbirth, the mother wakes up and sees Alice so she asks her who she is, but Alice says she's nobody before fading away. When Gilbert realizes what's happening, he screams his daughter's name, only to suddenly find himself in a very cozy kitchen. His wife is alive and they have two new daughters in what appears to be a very nice life. Once he snaps out of his shock, he remembers he's supposed to sign something, but his wife tells him he already did it. A newspaper shows that Gilbert has launched an eco-friendly renewable energy project. In the future, Fox wakes up and learns that the radioactive cloud has never existed, so the kids are okay. Louise is now part of their team, and she remembers everything because the change happened thanks to her help, but nobody else in the patrol does. Everyone goes to celebrate at the pub and it's revealed that Alice is with them because she has created a time paradox. She managed to undo her own birth but didn't disappear because that would have cancelled her first actions, therefore now she exists while not existing. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.